Hey what's up guys, Chico here for the Dragon Files. Now we are on our part 3 of lesson 9, the HTML links. So before we start, let's see what we're going to be making. So what I have here is a single web page. And let's see what it does. So what we're going to be making is to link this page 1 to another web page, to a picture, and to other files like PDF file. So let's try. This is a page 2 from a different directory. Remember, it's from a different directory. So when you click it, this page is saved at my documents under page 2 folder. And it is named page2.html. So you see that this is my documents, page 2, and then page2.html. So let's go back. This one is a picture. We're going to be opening a picture from my pictures. So let's click it. So that's the picture from my pictures, sample pictures, and then it is named the waterlily.jpg. So you can see that. And let's move it so you can see. So that's it waterlilies.jpg. And go back. And this one is opening a PDF file using link. When you click it, it will open a PDF file from my documents also so let's get started so before we start we have to prepare some files for this tutorial every files are saved on my documents so we have to prepare a web page inside a folder a PDF file or anything like pictures like this one so let's get started so now make a new web document on desktop. On your notepad, create three paragraphs like this. This will be our links for the rest of the lesson. Now let's start putting up some links. In the first paragraph, type in our basic anchor tag. Type in a space href equals coat and coat. Then don't forget to close it with slash a. The difference of this link from our previous part is that the file we are trying to open is on different directory. To access a file, all we have to do is tell the anchor tag where the file is. To do that, go to your second web page. In this case, it is inside page 2 folder. So you can see here in the address bar the complete address of the file. This is what we need to tell the anchor tag where is the web page. So just select it and copy paste it in our anchor tag. Copy, go to your notepad and then between these quotes paste it. Now the anchor tag knows where the file is. The next thing we have to do is tell him what file we want to open. In this case we have to type in page 2 that HTML. So go to your notepad and first you have to separate the file from the folders. So we have to put in backslash and then type in page 2.html. Now it knows what is the file and where it is. And save it now. And then open it. Now our web browser. So let's try it. Let's click it and you see it brings us to my documents page 2 page 2 dot html so go back now let's go try to open some pictures so go to our notepad and let's put in here um, a href tag equals code code and then of course don't forget to close it with slash a so go to our my pictures sample pictures and then let's try to open this file so first let's copy the directory to tell the ahref tag where is the file and then now let him know what file we want so the file we want to open is winter and the important thing here is the file extension to know what is its file extension select it and then see the details here so it is a JPEG image or select right click and on the bottom of this menu there is the one that is called 
properties selected and then you can see that it is a JPEG image. This is important because not all image are JPEG or JPG. There are GIF and PNG. There are also some more file types for the image. So in this case, we'll be using JPG. JPEG is equivalent to .jpg. So you go here then separate the folder from the file. So type in winter.jpg. So did we close that? Oh yeah. Never forget this closing tab. Now save it. Go to our web page, reload it, or press F5, click this one, and there you go. It now brings us to winter.jpg inside my pictures folder. So there you go. Now we are going to be trying to open some other files like PDF file. So to do that, let's create another ahref link. Now the PDF file is saved on my document. So now what we have to do is tell the ahref tag what it is. So there's a little bit of a problem here because the address bar doesn't show the complete address. So what we have to do is go to the file, then right click it, select properties, that is the one on the bottom of the menu, and then we can see here the location of the file. So we can highlight it, and right click copy, go to our notepad, and then paste it between our two codes, between our two codes. Paste, and then now type in backslash. So the file name is Dragon Files and it is a Adobe Acrobat document. This means that it is a PDF file or you can see it here, it is a PDF file. So let's go to our notepad and then type in the Dragon Files that PDF. Now don't forget to close it with slash A. Now hit Ctrl S or select file and save the web page and reload it. Now click on the PDF file. So as you see, we had a little error here because let's go check our notepad. So there's a mistake with the name. It is the dragon dials that PDF. So all we have to do is correct it and change the D to F. Now save it. Go to our web page and reload it. Now select it. So there you go. It opens a PDF file in our web browser. So that's it for our HTML links. Hope it helps. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And tell your friends that we have some great HTML videos here. This will teach you a lot on the Dragon Files channel. So that's it. This is Jigoy for the Dragon Files.